Are you a backslider? Have you backslidden? Have you gone so far where you think God is done with you? And you think that God cannot forgive you? Cannot take you back? Let me tell you a little story about what Jesus said. The story of the prodigal son. You'll find it in Luke 15, 11 to 32. Go read it. Jesus said this son wanted his inheritance early. And so his father gave it to him. And he left into a far distant land where he, he, he wasted his money. He wasted it all in riotous living. And he found himself in a, in a, with pigs and no food, no money. And he came to his senses. I'm going back to my father's house where even the servants have more than me. The story of the prodigal son is Jesus' description of the father in heaven and the prodigal son that fell away. And so this son comes back home after coming to his senses, and as his dad sees him coming from afar, does he run there and beat him up? You foolish son, how dare you waste all your money? No, he runs to him, gives him a hug, and he tells the servant, get him a robe, put a robe on my, my son's home. Put a ring on his finger and kill the fatted cow. We're going to have a feast. My son's home. My son was dead. He's alive again. He's home. And that's how God thinks of you. No matter how far you've fallen, how deep you've gone into sin, if you're his child, you're born again and you've fallen away. If you're not, you must be born again, John 3, 3. Please go see my other video, You Must Be Born Again. But to those that are born again, that have fallen away, oh, we all did. I've fallen away. I felt I was gone too far at one point. So the father doesn't run to his son and beat him up. But he, t he gives him a hug. He, he takes him back as a son. And the son says, I'm not even worthy to be called your son. Just make me a servant. The story describes the father in heaven who takes back his son. Heaven rejoices over one sinner who repents more than 99 that are just. Those that are spiritual and strong listening to this message, remember Galatians 6.1 to restore such a one that fallen in the spirit of meekness, lest you fall. Don't forget, he said to esteem others higher than ourselves. He says, if any man follow me, must deny himself. Pick up his cross daily and follow me. Not lift yourself up. Oh, look at me. I'm so good. None is good, not one but God. None is righteous, not one but God. Those who claim they're holy rollers and they're better than everyone, they're liars. They're deceivers. Have nothing to do with their false doctrines of demons. We all fall short in one way or another. The Bible says that everything that you do that is not done in faith is sin. Are you telling me everything you do is in faith? Come on, don't you lie. James 4.17, to him who knows to do good but doesn't do it, to him it is sin. Are you saying you always do what is right, Mr. Perfect? The tongue of man is an unruly evil full of deadly poison. No man can tame it, James 3, 8. So we all fall short and say things sometimes that are hurtful to others that we wish we didn't say. We all fall short. We all fall short of the glory of God. Does it mean I practice sin? No, by no means. Unless you repent, you will likewise perish, Luke 13, 3. But to go as far as saying you don't sin anymore, either in word, in thought, or in action, you sin. You sin. You fall short. You, you, who looking at me saying, I'm not like I do then, I guess, because I'm perfect. I don't sin anymore. The Bible says we war against the flesh and the spirit. It's a war. It's a battle. We have three enemies in this world. The world, the flesh, and the devil. Some people blame the devil for everything, but the flesh itself is weak and it's got its own sin sinful desires. 
That's why he said, walk in the spirit so you don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Do not practice sin. Practice righteousness. This is how we tell who is the children of God and of the devil. 1 John 3.10 Those who practice righteousness are righteous. They're of God. Those who practice sin are of the devil. If you've fallen away today, no matter how far, no matter how deep, Oh, I was at a point where I thought he wouldn't take me back. I've gone too far. And believe me, the devil would, would, would confirm that in my mind. Oh, you're a loser. You've gone too far. You're not a child of God. He doesn't love you no more. He can't take you back. Look what you've done. Look what you did. Look what you've said. He's a good God. I plead with you. Turn to him. Turn to him today. Hope thou in God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these other things shall be added unto you. Trust the that's Matthew 6, 33. Trust the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Be encouraged today. If you've fallen away, come back to Him. He will receive you with open arms. He's a good God. God is great. God is powerful. God is mighty. There's none like my God. He'll deliver you through the deepest valley. He'll put you back on that mountain when you think that you've gone too deep. You've gone too far. You don't know my God till you're down in that deepest valley and he pulls you out. Then you know who you're dealing with. The Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. There's none like him. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Praise His holy name. Hallelujah to the King. Oh yeah, I thought I was done. That's it for you, Mark. Oh no, where there's no hope, He gives you hope. Jeremiah 29, 11, God says, I know the plans I have for you, not of evil, but of good, to give you a future and a hope. Do you believe that? I believe it. He's given me hope and a new future when I thought I was done. God's strength is made perfect in weakness. Sometimes it's when you're at your weakest moment that He comes in and delivers you. God is love. Come back to Him today. Tell Him, Lord, I need you. Please restore me. Please bring me back to a relationship with you. Bring me back at a place where I could worship you and honor you and not feel condemnation. Because Romans 8, 1 says, there is therefore now no condemnation to those that are in Christ Jesus. Have you been born again? All the trust, all the faith, all the hope that you've been putting in yourself and other things, transfer it all to Jesus Christ today. Jesus Christ is powerful. Jesus Christ is mighty. He's mighty. He said he resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. So humble yourself in his sight and he will lift you up. If you're a prodigal, come back to him today. In Jesus' name, receive these words. This is a message God gave me. I wasn't going to make a message today. But as I, I pray and seek the Lord, and I asked him, if I was to, what would you want me to share? And this is what he's put in my heart. Tell him I'll take him back. Tell him if they've fallen, they could come back. He loves his children. Sometimes he allows us to go through trials and all kinds of valleys. The Bible says that many are the afflictions of the righteous. But God will deliver us from all of them. Do you believe that? I was at a place in my life once where I felt there was no hope. I will never get out of this one. But I'm here to tell you, God see me out of it. Here I am preaching His Word. You wouldn't have believed that about me years ago. But here I am, a changed man by the grace and power of Almighty God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Receive these words in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come back to Him today. Amen.